in our Latin America segment tonight, we're going to take you to Mexico City. A huge scandal is unfolding there, and it involves casinos, corruption, and top officials of the administration of former President Felipe Calderon. Let's get all the details now with Frank Contreras, who's been covering this story. Frank? Thanks, Philip. Investigative news reports here coming from major media organizations in Mexico allege that members of President, former Mexican President Felipe Calderon's inner circle allegedly took bribes in exchange for speeding along the opening of dozens of casinos here. Now, an eyewitness, a whistleblower who was working inside the Interior Ministry during the Calderon presidency, says that in the very last days of that administration, they issued at least 90 new licenses to casinos. And so, uh, allegations here now that officials are receiving, had been receiving money to open casinos. Further, the investigation by Indigo Newspaper, a, a national investigative news organization here in Mexico documents how Interior Ministry officials allegedly covered up an investigation, Philip, in 2011 of a fire that took place inside a casino, killing at least 50 people. Flames engulfed the Casino Royale in Monterrey, but the fire exits were blocked off, trapping scores of people inside. Under-equipped firefighters and local construction crews opened holes in the casino's walls, hoping to give those inside air to breathe. But at least 50 people were killed, most by smoke inhalation. Government officials blamed the fire on organized crime groups seeking retaliation against casino owners who refused to pay protection money. Survivors of the victims who died in that fire say former President Felipe Calderón's federal government failed to prosecute the casino owner for blocking the fire escapes. I see nothing being done to bring that person to justice for everything that happened. Documents uncovered in a news investigation implicate high-ranking Calderon officials working inside Mexico's interior ministry who allegedly took bribes to speed the opening of new casinos and allegedly protected the Casino Royale owners from having to pay reparations. This scandal is raising questions about corruption inside this all-important government institution and whether or not the incoming government would prosecute former Interior Ministry officials from the Calderon administration. This analyst says corruption was rife inside the former administration, with some Calderon officials profiting illegally. He says that legacy remains. Corruption is now everywhere, unfortunately. And gambling is one of those activities that is uh, very easily corrupted, or that needs the participation of corrupt officials. With revelations of corruption emerging, family members of the Casino Royale victims are urging new President Enrique Peña Nieto to investigate. So the Mexican government here now, a new government just installed on December 1st. So far, Philip has said absolutely nothing about this scandal that is unfolding here inside the all-important interior ministry. It's in charge of casinos, but it's also in charge of things like religion and negotiating with the Congress when it comes to trying to push the president's agenda through and pass legislation that will become laws here. So the interior ministry manages things like um, immigration as well. It's a, one of the most important and powerful uh, organizations here in the Mexican government. And uh, Enrique Peña Nieto, the new president, says he's going to make it even more powerful by including it in the fight against uh, organized crime groups here in this part of Mexico. And so um, at this stage, nothing being said about any sort of investigation that might take place. But the president has said that his government would be marked by the rule of law. So it remains to be seen how they manage this scandal, Philip. Frank, thank you for uh, staying on top of that developing story.